Hello, and welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. My name is Grungerlam Zero Gaming, and this isn't usually how I start off my intros, but <clears throat> I want to tell you guys why you guys should play Red Dead Redemption 2. It is by far the most well landscaped graphic game of somewhat of the year, <clears throat> as it is a cowboy game and doesn't have any new guns, technology, or any tanks like that. Just old fashioned guns and pretty much just bar saloon and shoot ups with bank robbing. There's plenty of fighting to do as I casually shoot this guy with my hunting rifle. So, um, without further ado, guys, <clears throat> let's get into it. I'm gonna be this is my part one of part two of part two series, which I'm just gonna be talking about why you guys should play Red Dead Redemption 2 and some cool features. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So now we are in San Denis. This is how I usually talk, actually. Um, so yeah. So first place. This is a calm and really um, interesting game of buying and interactions. I'm in the big city now called San Denis. For all you who haven't even seen the trailers of Red Dead Redemption 2, told my other subscribers, sorry, but. Uh, you actually might learn something from this video or something new that you never knew was possible, but thanks for watching anyway. And for all you newbies out there, I won't try and spoil too much, but let's just, I guess, get into it. So, it is a really interactive game of horse riding and, and doing, like, pretty much anything that a normal human does. Uh, you can starve, uh, but not, you can't really starve, starve, but your health will go low. And you will die, uh, but you respawn. So you'll actually have to go to a grocery store to buy your own food, which I thought was pretty interesting when I first started playing. Uh, the variety of this game gives you so many options to eat and so many different options to, I don't know, pretty much just live like you're in the real world, I guess, or what it would be like to live in the time of this. After all, it is a, it's kind of a realistic game. I'll show you, like, what that kind of meant in a second. But, yeah, you can buy anything you want, really. Um, it's a fun game of just looking around and seeing, it's, it's, it's pretty much just a travel game, really. Um, <clears throat> you do missions, too, and I'll talk more about that in my part two. It really is an interesting game because there's so many buildings to explore, and I don't know. It's once you start playing it, it'll be like an like if you come from somewhere. I came from uh, Destiny 2, and uh, I thought this was a huge, huge like something else. It really is, and you actually like for once it's a realistic game. It's no like. Where do you get your food from? Um, it's not like the Master Chief, like how does this guy keep surviving? It's a real game. Now, interesting enough, uh, this is, like, everything is gonna lead us to the next thing. So this will lead us to our next thing, robbing. Uh, it will actually lower your honor, but now I can simply open the register, and all that money that I spent on groceries, I'll be able to get that back. So, pretty interesting, right? You can loot the shopkeeper if you want, but I don't want to go that far. Uh, <laughs> usually, they don't have anything if you loot the register. So, <clears throat> uh, now, so this is your honor bar. The more good things you do, it goes up, like helping people, giving money to homeless people, as you can see, as you'll see. If you do bad things, like shoot people, rob people, uh, that's not part of the storyline. Or bad things, your honor will go down. Now, shooting police officers is another thing. Uh, if you do these bad things and you get caught for it, you can either shoot the police and have like, a huge shootout with them, especially in a big city. In a little city, you're fine. But in a big city, there's like 300 plus cops that will like be throughout the city and they all come and converge. So, better yet to surrender and you will end up in jail. And they will take whatever money you had as bounty. So, let's say you rob the person and you have a $15 bounty. They're going to take a little less than $15. Now, let's say you have like $42 and you have like a $3,000 bounty on your head. What's going to happen is they're going to take all that money and it's pretty much like a free way of getting rid 
of your bounties if you don't want to have bounty hunters keep coming after you and they are a huge problem like i was trying to record a video the other day and i forgot to pay off my bounty and they just show up and mess up the entire thing uh sometimes if you don't if you're just starting out and you have a huge bounty they really get like you cannot like they swarm you they literally swarm you and they have attack dogs sometimes if you have a high enough bounty so i just thought uh this is really is like what happened back then <clears throat> So this is the world map. It takes about 30 minutes to go from one part to the other part. So to be more clearly, east to west, west to east. There's even more parts that go down here. As the story progresses, they'll open up for you. It, it really is an interesting. There's so many things you can do, which I'm going to explain again in the next video. You can find uh, dinosaur bones, you can do bounties, a, a lot of other cool things that can be done in Red Dead Redemption 2. So not all done yet. Um, I'm going to show you guys actually the wardrobe side of it. So you can change your clothes actually. Uh, I know I don't have much here, but you can actually rent a hotel room or something else and get good clothes. And you can like there's over like 300 like little uh, things you can put on. Um, and I think that is really cool. So you can mix and match how your character looks, especially with Red Dead Online. Uh, if you need your, uh, I just showed you guys, there's the tailor and there was the barber. So if you guys ever need a haircut or something, your hair does grow, uh, which is crazy. If you guys come to um, play this game, uh, you'll find some other tricks and tips on your own, like, it's crazy. Interactive game. So you'll actually even be able to uh, get stuff from the restaurants, play poker, as you guys saw when I walked in. You guys can actually play, have uh, poker. Uh, you wouldn't buy bluffing, actually. Uh... And it's funny though, because this is all how real people kind of act, I guess. Uh, the person that you're playing as is not a normal person, but he doesn't have any superpowers. He's just an interesting outlaw that you play with. And then you play with another outlaw in the other one. So, I rented a bath in a room. You can rent a bath because you might be having your stamina, or you might like look horrible. After like, you fall on the ground, your face will be all muddy. Um, and there's going to be other people, and you can usually just sleep. Uh, this brings us to the next part. You can antagonize people, you can greet people, but you can really bully people so bad in this game. You can really, like, upset people. Like, you can really be a bully in this game. Which is funny. And they're, they're going to immediately report you to the crime. Usually what happens is you can just stop the witness or they'll keep going. You can just shoot them. But they'll just, um, they'll just keep coming. You really have to play it for yourself for the online experience. Uh, this is a huge town. Um, so I'm just going to skip to ahead when I get my, I guess I'm, because when the cops come. <laughs> so guys, it is that time now. The cops have made, I've heard them, like, going around the building. So it is time for the next part. These are shootouts. There's different types of ammo you can use for your guns, which I think is really cool. And just start shooting them. Another good thing I'm going to show you guys is called the Dead Eye. There's actually three variations of it. There's one where you shoot and then you uh, get out of it. There's one where you have X's and uh, you'll put an X on people. It'll be like automatic targeting. Really? And those, there's one where you can stay in Dead Eye and target on your own. But it goes a lot slower. So, which is actually pretty cool. I like the Dead Eye that I'm using. And I hope you guys do too. But without further ado, let me just show you it. Let's see. Any cops. I guess I'll just take this time to explain. Um, so cops are interesting. They will chase you down. Uh, if you get out of this little red circle, if you guys can see on the screen, there's like little gray areas around it. That's like your wanted zone. If you get out of it, the little wanted sign on the top right corner will start being less red until it's fully out of red. And that means you're free. You're If you've ever played any other GTA games, then you know... And that means you're pretty much home free. And I think they're behind me now. Alright, so they crawled up the roof. And this is the dead eye that I use. And I love it. It really is good. I uh, unlike this, unlike like I guess real world, you do have to refill up here, um you have energy, you have dead eye, and you have health. As you guys can see right there of the heart, the little energy sign symbol, and the little eye with an X in it, that means dead eye. Um, and this is, I'll show you guys in a second how to refill those. So what's gonna happen is you see the uh, eye, uh, it's getting low. 
it's getting low as you shoot more. So the more you use the dead eye, the more it drains. It's probably gonna cut. Yeah, it's it's out. We're out. Yeah. Um. So what you're gonna want to do is just find the food. If you guys can see the food, the little, you have to find the uh, pattern on the food that um looks like what I have right now. So it's kind of like you have to connect symbols, and if it has the right symbols, you'll drink it or eat it and it'll give you that power back. And then you can uh, take the chewing tobacco, or um, you have a lot of like, potions, a lot of potions, but um, elixirs, I guess, and you can use that to refill your cores, which they are called in the game. So yeah, this is going to be a very you know, successful shootout. But I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it's been a pleasure as always, trying to get new people to play a fun and, um, it's a really fun interactive game. I think you guys will all enjoy. So many settings, so many things to do. It is a super fun game, and I hope you buy it. So, thank you guys so much. Again, I just can't stop saying thank you for just watching, and I hope you go on to buy the game, or at least watch some trailers or other videos and get other opinions. Uh, the game is full of so many other cool weapons, like Gadling guns, not like rocket launchers, but it has its perk because none of the other people have rocket launchers as well. So I guess that's pretty cool. And so many quests and quests and missions to do. So yeah, bye guys. Uh, please subscribe so you guys catch my part two. So turn on your bell and notifications so you guys can see when my part two comes out. Here's a word from our sponsor.